Hello, everyone. My name is Chris Mayerski. I'm the Executive Director of Undergraduate Admissions here at Wilkes. We're going to give everyone a little bit of time to, to log in here before we get started. Uh, so I'm going to give all of you a few minutes to get logged in and then uh, we'll get things started. So please be patient with us and, and we'll talk to you very shortly. Hello everyone. Thanks again for joining us uh, and for being patient. Uh, once again, for those of you that weren't here a few moments ago, my name is Chris Mayerski. I'm the Executive Director of Undergraduate Admissions here at Wilkes. Um, we're very excited to be able to, to share some time with you, albeit virtually, um, and answer any questions uh, that you might have. Um, but also, um, just to kind of let you know that, that we're here and ready to provide you with any information that we can provide um, and we're gonna be as helpful as we can um, during this time. Um, so for those of you that were able to join us last night, and we thank you for that. And we look forward to continuing to provide you with some additional information throughout the week. Um, we're excited to, to be able to share this with you. Um, I know it's, it's a little different that we aren't on campus right now and not able to be on campus right now, but we sure hope that uh, we can be on campus um, sooner rather than later. Uh, every day that goes by hopefully is another day closer uh, to having the opportunity to be back on campus. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to, to my colleague, um, Ian Schreffler. Ian is our one of our uh, Associate Directors uh, of Admissions um, at Wilkes. Um, and Ian's going to talk to you a little bit about um, next steps. Um, we understand that some of you are still trying to, to make decisions uh, about um, where you might want to attend college and you know we're going to be here to help so you know please um, uh, listen to Ian and then you know if you have questions um, you'll see that there's a, a Q&A uh, there's a Q&A tab um, some of you it might be at the bottom of your screen some of you it might be at the top um, feel free to ask us questions there um, and and we'll try and respond um, we'll have Ian respond and then um, we can also respond um, also by chat so um, without further ado, um, here's Ian, and he's going to talk to you a little bit about um, next steps. Hi, and, and thank you all again for attending our Accepted Students Day. Um, as Chris Myerski has just said, my name is Ian Schreffler, and I'm one of our Associate Directors of Undergraduate Admissions here at Wilkes. Uh, we know today isn't your typical Accepted Students Day, and while we can't be on campus to provide the traditional experience, we definitely wanted to share with you our Colonel Pride today. Um, so before we begin our, our Q and A's, our questions and answers, I just wanted to share some quick details about the next steps for your college process. To start, uh, for those of you who haven't made their commitment, don't worry, we're ready for you whenever you are, even if it's after that May 1 date that you may have, um, or that you are familiar with. Two, to help accommodate any financial hardships during this time, we have cut the deposit amount in half to $150. Everybody, please, please remember that we, as your admissions counselors, are your biggest advocates. Please be sure that you're connecting with us, with your admissions counselors, so that we can advocate for your individual situations. We completely understand that every situation is different, 
and each person in family has their own circumstances. We're here and we're ready to work with you when you're ready. Just so you're aware, if you have not made your deposit, you will not receive information about, in, about orientation until your deposit is submitted. And lastly, orientation and financial aid uh, will have important updates following my session right here. So now we can kick this off for some questions and answers. As we wait uh, for some questions uh, to come in, um, I just wanted to also kind of chime in and talk a little bit about, you know, obviously the, the situation that we're in, you know, it's a little bit different um, obviously than typical years and there's not really a blueprint for, uh, for what's going on right now. So you know, when Ian says that our counselors are available, um, we really are. And whether or not we have all the answers, um, we're probably not going to. Um, but we also are going to be able to help find you those answers. And, and if we don't know them, as soon as we have them, um, we'll be able to share them with you. So you know, when we talk about you know, trying to be able to, to help you out and, and walk you through this process, we really just want to be resources for you. So you know, those are just some important things. You know, there's never a, a silly question. Um, we're always here to help. Every, as Ian mentioned, every family, every situation is different. Um, so those are, are the things that are extremely important. Um, and we really would just want to be able to help you and try and talk you through things in regards to uh, Wilkes University and how we can help you um, in this extremely important time um, for you. Hi everyone, um, I'm Jackie Iovich. I'm part of the admissions team. Um, we do have a couple of questions, so I wanna make sure we get to those. Um, Chris, maybe if I could um, give this question to you. Um, if half of a deposit was made, um, or if a deposit was made a few months ago, um, will a refund be made because of the half price now? If you could maybe just talk a little bit about how our deposits are applied to tuition, that might be great. Yeah, sure. I, it's a great question. Um, obviously, you know, it's an unprecedented year for everyone. So making these changes throughout the process are more different. So for, for families and students asking the questions about um, a half of a refund or things like that, we do want to remind you that your tuition is, is, does go directly towards your, um, your tuition deposit does go directly towards your um, tuition. So if it's 300, if it's 150, now that comes right off, off your tuition. Uh, but if there are circumstances where um, that could be helpful, I mean, we can look at, at some of that information on a case-by-case -case basis, but uh, for the most part, you know, we are, um, we're trying to, to be as flexible as we can be with our families um, in this time. So you know, if there is a situation, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or, or your counselor directly, um, and we can talk about that. But you know, for those of, of you that have deposited prior to the tuition being cut, you know, that, that tuition deposit is still going to come directly off um, your tuition at the end. So um, instead of the $300 of students paying $150, it, it all goes towards your tuition um, at the end of the day. We do have a couple of other questions. Um, there's a question about housing. Maybe um, Ian or Chris, if you guys want to take this, um, we have a question asking uh, how students can access um, which housing locations um, they want. How, how can they see what the different options are? Um, we're wondering about some uh, tours, if there's any virtual tours. Maybe you guys could chat about that. Okay, so in regards to checking out some of the, the resident halls we do have on campus, um, our website does provide information on each and every one of our resident halls. You can learn about the resident halls. If you do go to wilkes.edu and then look at the Life at Wilkes, there is a tab that you'll want to go down to and it says Housing and Residence Life. From there, you can find all of the resident halls that we have. Um, and then two, we do have virtual tours um, set up of campus that do allow you to walk through some of the resident halls we do have available as well as campus itself. Thank you. 
Thanks, Ian. Okay, um, more questions coming in. Um, let's see. Um, we have a question about um, scheduling classes for the fall. And I know um, we have our orientation director on this call too. Um, Chris is here as well. So maybe either of you could um, chat about this. Uh, when do um, freshmen get to schedule classes for the fall and how does that work? Ian, maybe you can even answer this one. Sure thing. So once your deposit is made, um, as I had mentioned before, you'll receive information on orientation. Um, now that information allows each and every student to log into what is known as our student web portal. On the student web portal, you'll go through information for orientation. You'll select um, a few of your general education courses, um, but also to once your deposit is made, we do um, provide each and every student with an academic advisor. This academic advisor um, will speak with you one-on-one -on -one in regards to your fall semester. So answer any questions you may have in regards to the specific courses that you would like to take. Also, they will build out your schedule. So you'll know what classes, what times, what days, what professors you have for your fall semester. So that will all come um, during the orientation sessions in either June or July. Thank you, Ian. I just want to note, we might not have time to get to every single person's question, um, but we will be answering all of them. Um, either your counselor will be in touch or we will be in touch um, after the um, session today. So um, even if they don't get answered um, live on our session today, we will definitely make sure that all of your questions get answered. So um, we will leave no stone unturned here. I do want to uh, uh, jump in on, on another question. Another question that we, we got um, is about campus being open in the fall. And I know this was um, a hot topic um, last night um, for our interim uh, president, um, Dr. Paul Adams. Um, as of right now, you know, we're fully uh, anticipating our campus being open in the fall and being able to have in class and, and have on campus classes and, and have our residence halls um, filled with, with our students. You know, obviously, things are, are changing fairly rapidly. And we're going to follow um, everything that, that we have um, in regards to the national, state, and local health offices. Um, so you know, we're going to be ready to, to adjust. Um, but at, at this point, um, we are anticipating being able to come back in the fall um, at this point. But there's so much unknowns to that that you know as things change you know we'll be sure to um, let you know as soon as we have that information um, but right now you know we are still um, planning on that um, but we're also planning um, for any types of changes uh, that we might have because of, of the current situation and how it unfolds you know there's still um, a lot of time between now um, and the start of classes uh, in fall so you know, things can change, um, but right now um, we are anticipating being available and, and being open um, come fall um, as of right now. So, you know, that's as much a, as I can share um, and as much as we can share and as, as things change and as we have new information, you know, I can assure you that um, our students and our families will be the first to, to hear about those changes and how Wilkes is um, going to make sure that um, our students are, are safe and, you know, campus is safe um, at the same time. Thanks, Chris. Um, we do have a question about um, next steps for students who are already committed to Wilkes. So, um, we know the next steps um, are coming quickly. Uh, we have our semester end um, this week, actually. So, um, Maybe, um, Ian, if you want to talk a little bit about next steps and maybe Missy, if you had to chime in too, that'd be great. Sure thing. So once you make your deposit, as I had mentioned just a bit earlier, um, within about two weeks of that point, you should be receiving a username and password 
which allow you to log on to your student web portal. The student web portal will have a different username and password than your actual application portal. Um, so that information then allows you to sign up for orientation. Um, if you're planning to live on campus, select housing information, select a meal plan. Um, again, select some of those general education courses, be assigned an academic advisor, um, and have you get ready and prepped for the fall. Now, within that time too, um, we do have financial aid coming on in just a bit, but that's when you'll want to start around June is looking to secure any loans um, for your um, payment to Wilkes University. Um, and then um, by the fall, we are, we're hoping to see you right on campus. And what I would suggest is keeping an eye on your email. Um, with our limitations for us to be on campus, you'll be receiving a lot of this information via email um, to your personal email. And then we can talk a little bit about uh, how important it'll be to check your Wilkes email account. And there'll be instructions within that um, first correspondence that you get on how to do that. And we'll talk about that more in a little bit. I would also say within this time, um, around June, we will start requesting AP scores, um, if you have credits that are transferring in from other schools, we ask for um, those to be sent to us from that school's registrar office too, as this all helps with creating your schedule in the fall specifically to um, get that information to your academic advisor. So again, your, your fall schedule can be completed. Okay, at this time, um, we're going to leave a few minutes. Um, we do have another session um, coming up um, at, at 2.20. Uh, Melissa Howells, who just kind of answered a question, she's going to talk a lot more um, about our, our orientation. Um, she is our Director of Student Development um, and runs our orientation program. So um, we're going to leave kind of the, the floor to her and, and ask her to talk more about um, what's expected at, at orientation and what that will look like. Um, so I'm going to try and, and answer some of the other questions that we've received um, through chat. So, so be on the lookout for some of the, the answers to your questions. Um, there was one more question I do want to try and get to um, pretty quick. Uh, someone asked if um, they're able to, to walk around on campus, um, although the, the buildings are closed. Um, we do... Um, we are still kind of in a stay at home um, from uh, the governor uh, and we, we don't encourage you to, to be able to do that. You know, there are public safety officers on campus um, and they are um, walking around and doing that. So, you know, we still encourage you to, to follow our, um, our, state, uh, our state guidelines and follow um, you know, what the governor has put in place. Um, so, you know, as much as we would, um, like you to visit our campus and walk around. Um, we, we don't encourage it at this moment because of our current situation. Um, if any of that changes, we'll be sure to, to let you know um, with regards to that. Um, and you know, as soon as we could start getting some folks back on campus, you know, we want to be sure that, that everything's safe. Um, and, and, you know, we hope that, you know, you can be patient in this time. You know, like I, I mentioned earlier, we're trying to be as flexible as we can, but at the same time, um, we are trying to, we have to follow all of our guidelines um, and recommendations from both national, um, state, and local, um, local offices. So um, we are still you know, trying to kind of follow those guidelines you know, as we are asked. Um, but as, as soon as anything changes, you know, we'll definitely be able to, to let you know and um, let you know how we can go about hopefully getting back to campus and, and seeing things. Um, now I'd like to, to turn it over um, to Melissa Howells uh, and you know, she'll be able to, to get into some more details about orientation. I know we talked a little bit about next steps, uh, but for those of you that have uh, made your deposit and your commitment to Wilkes, um, I'm sure there's a lot of questions about you know, what those next steps are and what that'll look like. Um, so um, we'll, um, we'll give uh, Melissa the opportunity to talk about orientation and then um, just like we did in, in the previous session, um, we'll, um, we'll ask questions uh, and then we'll, we'll answer them um, as well and help you through that. So, Melissa, it's all yours. 
Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Um, so I'm happy to join you guys all today. I appreciate you all being here. Um, I know this is certainly has been an adjustment for me, so I can only assume the same for you. Um, and while we're saying it's uncertain times, it's also kind of exciting times in, in the sense that you guys are the very first ones to ever experience something like this, and we're all working through it together. So we're excited that you're with us, and we hope to give you the information that you need today. Um, so let's talk a little bit about orientation. Um, you're hearing this uh, change that we are making in real time. Um, this was decided uh, probably less than 48 hours ago that we're um, going to change up our orientation format just a little bit in the sense that we're going to move to an online virtual format for the summer um, and then bring you guys back a little bit earlier in the fall to campus to expand our welcome weekend program. Um, so we are looking at uh, similar dates to what you've probably seen. So anyone that we've communicated with um, prior to this session today, um, you have heard information about orientation being in person um, from July 28th to the 29th and or, I'm sorry, June 28th to 29th and again from July 12th to the 13th. Um, so we are going to keep those original dates uh, for our online session and we're going to expand that just a little bit in the sense that you'll see now offered June 28th through July 2nd. And that gives you an opportunity to really get to know um, all of the components that we're going to be moving to online and be able to set up one-on-one -on -one appointments with a few different people on campus. And we'll get into that in just a little bit. So I just wanted to start out with the change that we are making because again, this is brand new information um, that we are giving to you in real time. We want to communicate anything that we need to alter or change um, with you as soon as we know. Um, so that's why this session was perfectly timed. So um, just to kind of talk a little bit about orientation, regardless of what format it does look like, um, you know, we host an orientation to get to know you a little bit better as future colonels and certainly certainly for us, for you to get to know us a little bit better. Um, so we welcome you on campus, whether it be virtually or in person, and we just want to make sure that you guys are comfortable with what Wilkes has to offer. Certainly get to know the campus a little bit more, get to know the resources that are at your disposal. Transition um, moving from high school into college life, of course. You know, you get to talk to people in residence life and get to know about life on campus. Um, and so many other departments that really everyone is involved in orientation. Um, but really it's just to help to get to know, again, you a little bit better and for you to get to know us better. Um, so we look forward to hosting orientation every year. It's one of um, my favorite programs for certain. So um, a couple things that we'll be covering at orientation. And again, um, those sessions will be expanded so you can get to know um, and get to familiarize yourself with everyone and give yourself some time to meet um, those people that you'll have those one on one sessions with. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit about um, the academic transition to college what that looks like, studying habits, time management, um, things to expect from your academic advisor and certainly from uh, your course load here in the fall. And again, this will all happen regardless of what session you sign up for. There's one of two, again, June 28th through July 2nd and July 12th through the 16th. So these um, sessions will mimic each other, only need to sign up for one. Okay, um, it's certainly a group message from your academic advisor. You are assigned an advisor once you're done with your to-do list um, that you'll get information about once you've committed and decided and deposited to Wilkes, um, if you haven't already. So um, you'll get an academic advisor assigned to you. Again, like Ian mentioned, you'll get to get in there and um, kind of decide on what you want to choose as a major, some generic um, and general course preferences that you do have, and then you'll get to actually meet with your advisor one-on-one -on -one via Zoom session over the summer so you can talk about your schedule and decide what's best for you and what's best for your future academically. Um, you'll get to schedule an appointment with a financial aid advisor and again these will all be one-on-one -on -one and live that you'll have a couple days to sign up for um, and then you'll get to hear from Residence Life and our Student Commuter Council so you can decide what uh, life looks on campus for whatever um, living situation that you are choosing at Wilkes. 
um, you'll get to move through kind of what, what we call a general session. And, and it's basically hearing from everyone on campus that you'll come in contact with your first semester, how to get a work study job on campus, um, learning about our resources that we have in regards to um, public safety, our dining services, um, academic support, anybody that really, you, again, you're gonna come in contact with your first semester here. Um, of course, parents, we are not leaving you out, parents and families. We will have an orientation session for you to kind of follow along. Um, again, it'll be virtually in the summer and then we'll offer some things in person in August. And I'm excited to talk about that. Um, so you'll be able to also hear from the academic advisor, schedule an appointment with the financial aid counselor, um, hear about residence life, commuter life, and again, move through that, ge that general session that'll give you a little bit more insight into the inner workings for your students as a first year student here at Wilkes. Um, so again, we look forward to being able to offer this format. What a great thing technology is, right? That we, we live in a world now where we can connect on a virtual level. Um, so we're excited. Most importantly, what I want to focus on or what I want to highlight is that you'll be paired up with a uh, first year student e-mentor, we call them. So you're paired with an upperclassman, um, normally of the same discipline in which you would like to study, and they can give you advice. They've been in your shoes. Um, they are willing to help you, and you're connected with that student um, or even with more multiple students throughout the entire first semester of your time here at Wilkes. Um, we find that the connection peer-to-peer -peer is really important and it does really help. I mean, who better to answer the questions that you may have as a first-year student than people who went through the process? Um, maybe just last year, maybe four years ago. Um, we have a lot of veteran students that are interested in this program and we're gonna work with them over the summer to be able to prepare them for this new format and certainly to answer the questions that you have. So let's talk a little bit about when you'll be back on campus. Um, again, as Chris mentioned, we are planning on moving forward with our fall semester in person. Um, so that will consist of uh, you moving in as a first year student or commuting to campus, maybe for the first time, um, August 26th through the 29th. So that's a Wednesday through a Saturday. And we'll be able to offer more in-person sessions um, that we wouldn't normally be able to offer online. So some social programs, getting to know your peers a little bit better, um, talking about our service components, our civic engagement components, our Wilkes Adventure Ed components, things that we um, typically offer in the summer that we're now just gonna move to August. The weather will still be great and we'll be excited to welcome you back on campus and offer this extended weekend um, so then you guys can experience campus and certainly uh, be able to adjust, move in, decorate your rooms, um, maybe fill up your gas tanks to get to campus and we'll be able to um, offer you with some social programming and some more information that you'll need to know as a first year student as well. Again, how to get involved, um, getting to know the library, um, again, meeting your, your e-mentor in person versus virtually. Um, hearing from your resident assistants and, and again from commuter council, um, getting a chance to follow up with your advisor, again, your academic advisor, just in case you have any lingering questions or need to make any changes to that, um, that schedule that you'll have access to at your orientation in the summer date. Um, and then, of course, you know, we're going to be in constant contact with you guys after orientation and leading up to that August date as well. So, you know, just because your orientation dates are over doesn't mean that we're going anywhere. So certainly feel free to reach out to any of us, including your admissions counselor. They don't go away once you're admitted to Wilkes. They're always there to help you. Um, so you can reach out multiple ways throughout this entire process. Um, for those of you we have communicated with and who have already reached out to our orientation line, we appreciate your patience with us because it's been quite a transition moving um, everyone off campus and to home. So now we're able to really wrap our heads around what our orientations are going to look like and be able to offer you guys the best service that we can. Um, so we're excited about this new format. You know, it is an, it is a a different time here in our lives, but um, we are able to make the changes pretty well. And, and certainly, you know, we as um, a department have the support of both. So you can only imagine how supportive Wilkes is of our students. Um, so we're really looking forward to uh, getting to know all of you and certainly welcoming you back on campus in the fall. Um, but if anybody has any specific questions about orientation, we can certainly address some of those.
Missy, there is one question that came in that I think you might be able to help with. If not, um, there will be a residence, uh, a residence life session um, coming this week. But one of the questions was, uh, when are housing selections made? Sure. So we, uh, you'll be able to log in and make those decisions up to and including um, the end of orientation. So we look at an early August with housing selections being sent out, um, maybe even a little bit earlier since we are coming back to campus a little bit earlier, but it typically runs um, very end of July into the beginning of August that you'll be able to find out where you're living and who your roommate is. Missy, could you just give the dates one more time, um, just so everyone um, can mark them down, and maybe um, maybe you could share where they can find them as well. Um, you know, after this is over. You bet. So we mentioned before about keeping an eye on your email. Um, we are sending our correspondence via email as of right now to get you the most um, immediate communication that we can and we find the email works the best. So check your personal email and then again instructions on how to begin checking your Wilkes email and that's going to be important especially around orientation as our academic advisors are going to start using um, your wilkes.edu address to communicate with you. So we can give you, you know, updates as we go along and make sure that um, you guys are, are able to check your Wilkes email, but continue doing that. In the meantime, um, you can find all update information, updated information on our wilkes.edu backslash orientation page. Um, and again, this is this is all brand new information that we received. So um, if you don't see updated info just yet, hang tight and we'll be able to update that as we continue planning the orientation process. Um, so we will be updating that site consistently. So constantly check back, save it to your bookmarks, save it to your favorites, and make sure that you're checking back for the most up-to-date information. You can always email orientation at wilkes.edu. That's again gonna be the quickest way that we'll get back to you um, and we'll be able to answer any questions that you may have. Again, working from a distance has been um, a little bit of a challenge, so just be patient with us. Um, but again, our dates for the summer are going to be June 28th through July 2nd. Now again, you won't have to log in for all four of those days. It's not going to be consistent throughout those four days. But this will give you an opportunity to navigate the site and to get the, all the information that you'll need and be able to make those appointments with your individuals that you want to speak one on one with. Um, and then the second session will be July 12th through July 16th. So anybody who's already signed up for an orientation date doesn't have to necessarily go in and re-register for a date. They are the same that we've had. We've just, again, extended them a little bit. And as long as they still work for your schedule, then we no need to re-register. But if you haven't gone in to sign up yet, go ahead and do so. Thanks, Missy. You're welcome. Another question, and I'll take this one, um, was um, how are... What's the process for um, assigning um, students uh, a roommate and um, housing? Um, we do um, give preference to students based on their deposit date. So, you know, the sooner a student deposits, we'll put them higher on the, the list of preference. So, you know, we, we go by your deposit date with regards to um, housing preferences and selection. So, um, that's something to, to keep in mind. And, if, if that adjusts uh, in any way, uh, you know, we'll, be, we'll be making any changes, but currently that's how we um, process um, that process. And um, on a residence life session uh, later in the week, I'll, they might talk a little bit more about those details um, as well. And then another question, and Missy, I'll turn this question over to you. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about um, how students are or um, given advisors, um, and then once again, how that process is gonna work virtually. Sure, so when you receive correspondence about going on and completing your to-do list for orientation, there's gonna be a whole academic section in there that again, you'll be able to pick your uh, major that you're interested in studying in, including um, undecided and then some specifics around maybe where you would like to focus on. And then, um, 
throughout the course of, of June. So um, we know that people will be uh, choosing milks all the way up to and including the orientation dates. You'll never miss out on anything, um, but we, we encourage you to get in there and log in as early as you can. So then you can have your preference for your general sessions um, before they fill up. So uh, what you're gonna do is go in and pick some of those course preferences that you'll, um, you'll enjoy and be able to take advantage of, as well as your major. And then uh, mid-June, you'll be assigned uh, an advisor for those June participants. And then um, right after the June session, the July participants will be paired up with an academic advisor as well. You'll get a communication from them um, or from what we call University College. It's a department on campus that works with all of our academic departments and, and provides academic support. Um, so they work with us to pair you with your academic advisor. And then they'll be reaching out to you to let you know who that is. Again, you'll hear a message from them through the orientation days and be able to speak with them one on one. Um, we pair obviously based on department and by major. Um, so we do have some multiple representation from different areas and um, others you'll be paired with an academic advisor just again based on your major. Um, but we we appreciate the academic advisors participating with us in the summer. And again, parents and family, families, you'll be able to hear from them as well um, through a pre-recorded message and be able to speak with them um, by, on a case-by-case -case basis. Mm -hmm. That's great, Nassi, thank you. Um, we have a question about re-registering for a different orientation session. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you could chat about that too. Sure, so if you have already registered for a session um, and you're no longer able to participate in that, just shoot an email to orientation at wilkes.edu and we'll happily go in and change that manually. Unfortunately, you won't be able to go in and change that, but we can do that for you, no problem. And then you can mark the new date on your calendar. There'll be no need to register for the August date. Um, we'll know that you're coming to campus by then based on your move-in schedule and um, your, your living status, whether it be on campus or a commuter. So there's going to be no need to register for that welcome weekend session um, in August. We'll anticipate that you're going to be joining us and, and we'll see you when you get there. Thank you. Um, we have a question about um, how we can get uh, familiar with campus before we move in. Um, I'm going to ask Chris to answer this question. Um, we have a couple of virtual resources that I know he um, would like to talk about. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's, um, it's, a, it's a challenging time, especially for those um, students who may have only been to campus once or haven't been to campus um, at all yet. Um, right now, we have um, our virtual tour that's available. Um, we did create a specific um, website for our for our students. Um, it's it's a virtual it's a virtual tour that also gives you opportunity to see um, what some of our current students are involved with. Um, we really try and and bring the campus to you um, on that webpage, and it's wilkes.edu and it's backslash experience. Um, we've emailed. Uh, I know that that link to you uh, on several occasions. Um, and, and we understand that it's not the same um, as visiting campus, but you know, if we don't have the opportunity to um, welcome you back to campus prior to August, you know, this would be the next best thing. And then um, when we do get to you on the campus, if, if it's August and that's the first time that you're gonna be on campus, you know, there, will be, um, there will be programs and things in place to get you familiar with where everything's at. So, you know, we'll have uh, other students, we'll have ambassadors, um, we'll have orientation leaders that, that are going to be able to help you um, maneuver campus um, when you do get here. Um, now, if there is an opportunity to visit campus um, prior to August, um, we'll communicate that to you and let you know. Um, but for right now, the best way to, to see um, our campus and, and to see different things is through our virtual experiences. Um, you know, obviously, um, it's like I said, it's not going to be the same, but I mean, if there's any additional questions or if there's something else that um, you might want to see, um, please reach out to your counselor. Um, we might be able to, to get you some additional information um, with regards to any specific buildings, uh, any specific areas, um, labs, uh, and, and things like that. 
Um, and as soon as we can hopefully invite you back to campus, um, hopefully, you know, in, in a best case scenario, we might be able to get you back on campus um, a little bit earlier than, than you know, the, the last weekend of August. But um, for the time being, that's our, that's our best options. And you know, we hope that there's going to be an, a, a little sliver of opportunity to get you back on campus, um, even if it's just to walk around prior to that. Um, but as of right now, it would just be a guess for us um, if that's even a possibility. And Chris, if I could add, um, you know, as you had mentioned, utilizing other resources on campus, specifically our students, right? So you're going to be paired up with an e-mentor, an admissions ambassador. Um, please take advantage of asking them the questions that you do have, because, you know, again, they're the ones that are in these buildings and they're the ones that have been on campus, have chosen Wilkes and have chosen to stay at Wilkes because of their great experience. So they're the ones that could certainly offer a lot of insight as to what um, maybe goes on inside the class rooms and, and what those buildings and labs really look like and how they operate. Um, I would also encourage all of you to, to um, follow Wilkes on social media. Um, Wilkes U on Instagram, you know, really highlights our campus in a really positive way. It's such a pretty campus to see. Um, it's very photogenic, if I might add, as you can see from some of these virtual backgrounds that our, my colleagues have. So take advantage of the social media outlets um, that we've been utilizing as of lately, even more than usual usual because we've been programming for our current students even though they're not on campus. Um, so follow Wilkes Student Development. Um, you'll be getting follow Wilkes Admissions um, and you'll be getting some more um, handles to follow throughout the orientation process. Um, we're dedicating a whole page to our Wilkes e-mentors so you'll get to meet all of our students um, that are going to be working with you over the summer and the fall. And you are certainly not limited to who you're paired with as your e-mentor. This is going to be a really fluid situation throughout the next couple of weeks. So we encourage you to utilize our entire staff of students to be able to reach out to you and, and, and ask the questions that you do have. Missy, can you just go over one more time when the e-mentors will be assigned? Sure. So we wait until um, you accomplish some of those to-do list items. So again, we pair you accordingly um, to someone usually within your discipline or maybe through your FYF section. Um, so around mid-June, you'll be hearing from your e-mentor um, based on uh, how we're going to plan that for the summer and then again for the fall. Um, they may be two different people. They might be the same people um, and they, you might have a group of people that you're assigned to. So again, you guys are at an advantage this year. Um, being able to utilize as many resources as we have possible. So around mid-June, you'll be hearing from your e-mentor. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, there was another question about um, a way to connect with potential roommates, and I just wanted to um, make everyone aware. Um, we do have a Facebook page. Um, well, it's a Facebook group, actually. It's Wilkes University Class of 2024 and 2026. Um, so you guys can request to join that group if you haven't already. I know many of you have, um, and it's a great way to, you know, see who's major um, you connect with. Maybe um, there's someone from your hometown or your school that you um, didn't know was coming to Wilkes. So there was lots of different ways to connect with um, potential roommates there. Um, parents, um, just so you guys know too, uh, we didn't forget about you either. Um, we have a uh, parent page, uh, so you guys can request to be in that as well. It's uh, Wilkes University Parents of class of 2024 and 2026. So um, there's lots of vital information in there. Again, um, this is a great way for um, us to connect uh, virtually, um, even though we can't be in person. Um, we're really pushing the limits of technology here. So um, it's kind of an exciting time and uh, we're just trying to embrace it. So, um, so definitely, if you haven't already, make sure to uh, search those groups and request them. Um, we'll approve you right away and make sure that you can connect with uh, some potential roommates and classmates. We saw some more questions coming in, so let's see. Yeah, there's um, a question about um, sports and you know, obviously it's a big question that that's out there, especially um, our fall sports as they typically um, do move in um, prior to um, our the remainder of our students. Um, as of right now, um, from an admissions and enrollment standpoint, I don't have any 
specifics as to what that process um, will look like. You know, I would imagine that we're still um, working um, on keeping that process um, as it has been in the past where they, they would move in um, a few weeks prior. Uh, but in regards to any specifics about when athletes um, would be able to move in for our fall sports, um, I don't have any of that information um, as of right now. Um, and I don't know if, if anyone else would have that on this panel today. Um, but yeah, I would just continuously, um, you know, keep in contact with your coaches. Um, and, you know, I'm sure they'll have the most um, up-to-date information on what that'll look like if there are any changes to that. Um, but also if it remains the same, they'll be the, they'll be the best resources for you to, to let you know um, when that might be um, and what that will look like. Thanks, Chris. Um, Missy, maybe you can answer this one. Um, this is kind of new for this year. We have a question about um, uploading the photo to the checklist. Maybe you can um, tell people what that's about. And um, it, the student says on the checklist, we upload the photo, but it isn't um, checked off like it was completed. How will we know that picture went through? Sure. So we'll make sure that um, if, if the, we are able to add that check mark to that listing. Um, so because we have different pieces of software working in uh, uh, together on all of these different sites and, and located all in that convenient portal, um, we'll make sure that everything is uploaded accordingly. And if there is an error, you will receive an email from our public safety office, our Wilkes University Police Office, um, as they oversee the ID component. Um, so we'll make sure that everything is complete uh, before you arrive on campus. So you'll receive your Wilkes ID when you do come onto campus. Um, when you move in or when you come to visit us on Welcome Weekend, if you're a commuter, um, you'll receive your Wilkes email then. Um, so you'll have ample time to make sure that 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 photo is uploaded. And if it hasn't been, um, we'll make sure that we reach out to you just to make sure that you get that that photo and appropriately and and certainly that it is accepted on our side in our system as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you and that's new for this year so um, <laughs> kind of exciting stuff and convenient that we um, you know can get this done virtually this year. Um, there was a question, um, the, a couple people are just asking, you know, what is on the orientation to-do list? Um, I think this might be one of our, you know, final questions here as we're nearing the end of the time. Um, but maybe you could just run through a couple things that are on the checklist um, and, you know, remind people again how they can get that information. Sure. So again, you'll be receiving an email from us once you've secured your deposit. Um, and that'll have instructions on how to access your Wilkes portal. So a couple of steps, right? So we're looking at logging in with your uh, username, which will again be your email name. Um, so mine would be melissa.howells at wilkes.edu. The melissa.howells part would be my username and then a randomly generated password. If you've already been in our system, if you've already logged into the portal, you'll have your own password that maybe you've changed it to. If this is your first time logging in, use that temporary password that is assigned to you. And then you can go in and make the changes that you need to personalize that a little bit more. When you get into the portal, you'll see a first year student orientation page under the student tab on the portal. Um, that'll prompt you to go into another window. So while anyone with portal access can view that orientation page, um, we do limit the orientation part of it to our first year students. So you'll have to make sure that you're enrolled in our first year student course, which we do automatically when you deposit. So if you are having problems logging in, just let us know. But again, if you're looking just to peruse, you won't be able to access that just yet. Um, so in that to-do list, you'll find a couple to-dos. Um, one being to register for an orientation. Um, don't forget to include your t-shirt size because whether or not we're on campus, you're definitely getting an orientation t-shirt. Um, it's tradition. And then of course to uh, choose your housing and dining option. And that's a, a commuter option as well to choose your dining services or your meal plan if you would like to have one on campus. Um, you're gonna go into your academic portion of things. So being able to um, access your uh, general preferences and um, your 
major choice. And again, once you do these, all of that has to be compiled and generated. So you'll be assigned an advisor again, mid June or so, um, or early July, depending on which orientation session you are assigned to or, or choose. Um, and then you'll be able to go in and upload your photo for your Wilkes ID, as well as complete any placement tests that you may have. So depending on your major, um, it will prompt you that you will need to complete a uh, math placement test. Again, this is mostly for the sciences, um, undeclared sciences, as well as uh, finance majors. Um, so again, you'll be prompted for those, um, for that testing. And then just another quick student survey that we just look for a little bit of information from you and a little bit to know um, more about you. And, and certainly um, you can kind of look at that session or at that section of the portal outside of that to do list for any additional information. Um, generic information, frequently asked questions and schedule updates, again, will be found right at that EDU site, wilkes.edu backslash orientation. Thanks so much, Missy. I know we have a, a few questions that we, we likely aren't gonna get to um, live, but we'll try and, and respond to them um, as soon as we can in these next few minutes. Um, we do have another session starting at, at 3 p.m. though, so um, I do wanna make sure I leave enough time um, for anybody that's joining the financial aid session, you know, to, to take a little bit of, of a break. Um, but we also have new panelists um, that will be, will be joining um, in using this account, not this same link, but um, I do want to make sure that, that I do leave them enough time. Um, one thing I, I do want to leave everyone with is, you know, through all of this, you know, obviously there's lots of questions. Um, it's, a, it's a different process this year, more than any other year. So, you know, in addition to all the questions about school, about orientation, um, there's also the questions about the, the pandemic and how Wilkes is responding to it. Um, at any point, we're going to be here to help. Um, like I said, we might not have the, the questions right away and the answers right away, but um, you know, we're kind of in the same boat as everyone else. Um, we find out things um, you know, pretty fluidly um, as, as a university too. So you know, as soon as we get this information, we'll be able to, to um, let you know what's going on. You know, in the meantime, please reach out to, to any of us. Um, we have orientation um, folks that are ready to help you out. We have admissions counselors that are ready to help you out. Um, we have financial aid that's ready to help out. Um, please use your resources. Um, that's what we're here for. We're here to help. Um, you know, this is an important decision without everything going on right now. Um, and now it's just even, even that much more important um, because um, your future is, is, um, is coming up very quickly. Um, so you know, we thank you for, for the opportunity to, to talk with you today. And, and we hope that we were able to answer a lot of your questions and those questions that we weren't able to answer. Um, please reach out to us and we'll try and get to, to them as soon as we can. Um, let us know um, what's there. Um, and, and we can help out. I do want to um, remind everyone that, you know, although uh, we have extended our deadline to, to June 1st, uh, May 1st is this Friday. So, you know, we still trying to, to keep with some traditions and May 1st is usually our blue and gold day. So we definitely encourage you to, to show your Wilk spirit, um, put on some, some blue and gold and, and share your, your pictures and selfies uh, on social media using the hashtag um, WilksU. Um, we, we're still trying to, to keep as much excitement as we can um, about the upcoming year and, and your decision. So um, we ask that you please do that. Um, and in the meantime, you know, we hope you enjoy the rest of the sessions that, that you'll be joining on um, this week. Um, we have financial aid later today. We have academic sessions. Um, we have sessions with current students. And we're also um, trying to hold a session um, with all of our future colonels as well. So we thank you for this. Um, we thank you for this opportunity. We hope we were able to help you out. And then um, in the meantime, just let us know if, if there's any questions. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.